Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to do the color removal on a spiral shirt. The shirt's been washed in just plain water, but it hasn't been soaked in anything. I also have it turned inside out. I know it may be kind of hard to tell in this lighting, but this is a bright purple, kind of like a royal purple. And the shirt is a Gildan Ultra Cotton 100% cotton shirt. I'm going to spiral the shirt like normal, and then I'm going to hold all the folds in place with some kite string. I'm not even going to bother trying to use sinew with this, because if I place the entire shirt down inside of my container of color remover, pretty much most of the color will be removed anyway. So I'm going to use some kite string, and I'll show you in a few minutes how I'm going to remove the color. I am going to tie the shirt as tightly as I can with kite string though. I do want the folds to be fairly tight. Okay, so for the color removal process, I'm going to use a product called Out White Bright Laundry Whitener. And I purchased mine at Walmart in the laundry aisle. If you don't have any available at your Walmart or a place close to you, I have a link down below in the description for this video for where you can purchase some from Amazon. I'm removing the color from quite a few shirts all at the same time. So I'm placing the shirts down inside of a plastic container, but if you notice, I've got this one in my hand and I'm not putting it down in the container with the other shirts. For the other shirts, I'm going to sprinkle the out white bright over the top of the shirts and then pour boiling hot water over the top. Out white bright does have a smell to it, so I'm doing this process outside. I'm also wearing my respirator for the entire process because I don't want to inhale any of the fumes or any of the powdered out white bright. If you'll notice when I pour the hot water over the top, the out white bright begins to bubble and foam and immediately starts to remove the color from the shirts. So for this shirt, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of additional out white bright over kind of in the corner of the container. Then I'm going to grab hold of the kite string and place one side of the shirt down in the container. I'm kind of pressing it down into the liquid so that it gets well saturated on one side of the shirt. I don't want to leave it for too long so periodically I'm going to pick it up and check the back side to see if the color is being removed and I want to pull it out before it soaks too far down into the shirt. I don't want too much of the color to be removed from this spiral. I'm not going to leave it in the out white bright for very long. I haven't sped this part of the video up, so you're watching it in real time. When I feel like enough of the color is removed, I'm going to take the shirt into my utility sink and rinse it in cold water to rinse out the out white bright. I'm also going to go ahead and untie the shirt since it's just tied in kite string. And after the rest of the shirts are finished with the reversal process, I'm going to put them all in the washing machine and wash them using a hot water cycle and a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent. Then for the rest of the shirts, I went ahead and soaked them in soda ash so that I could tie dye them. However, after I saw the color that this one turned, I thought it looked really cool and I decided just to leave it alone. So I went ahead and dried it 
and this is what it looks like. Okay, so I thought this shirt ended up looking really cool after the reversal process. I like the dark gray color that it turned. If you remember when I stuck it in the out white bright, it turned bright orange. So I wasn't really sure what to expect, but after it went through the washer and the dryer, it ended up being a dark gray color. Initially, I thought that I was going to go ahead and tie dye it, but after I kept looking at it, I really liked the color that it turned out. And as you can see, even though I didn't leave it in the color remover for very long, still quite a bit of the color was removed from the shirt. I've tried several different methods of using out white bright for spirals, and so far this seems to be the one that works the best. Most other methods that I've tried remove too much color and I end up with just pretty much a plain shirt. So I think this shirt is a great example of where it's fun to just mess around with different colored shirts and see what color they end up after they've gone through a color removal process. Sometimes the color combinations end up looking really cool. So if you've enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.